so in today's video we're going to be unboxing the Microsoft Surface Pro 9 and the Surface Pro type cover with the uh, the Slim Pen 2. Now, just make sure, yep. So this is the i7 uh, with 16 gigs of RAM, platinum, and 512 gigs of storage. So let's get the seal off. This is my first time actually having a an actual brand new one before. Um, let's see. Um, let's open this up. Here's the tablet. Jeez. Oh well. It has a thing on it. Um, I have to I have to talk a bit loud because people won't be quiet. Here and here we have the surface. Um, just shows all the ports. Uh, safety regulatory and yeah So that's this I think in the bottom one is the power brick um Yeah, I think in the bottom one's the power brick. Um, I need um, I'm gonna be RB one All right, well, I guess that's that and here I think is the 65 watt power brick um, yep, the Windows logo. Have the. Let's get the thing off. This is honestly a pretty long charger. It's longer than my Surface goes. It's a lot longer. Um, let's see. Let's get this in here. Um, I'm gonna set this over here. And put this stuff back in here. Um, let's see, let's, let's, um, let's get, let's, let's put the, let's get the, um, let's unbox the slim, the signature type cover first. I'm sorry guys, I'm just so excited that I'm able to ditch my Surface Go, uh, 120 gig. Here it is. Let's, let's put this on the, let's first get the plastic off. Ooh. Um, let's see, let's put that on here. Put this up like that. Um, get the stand out. Um, let's first plug it in because they always recommend you charge the device, I guess, before using it. So, I'm pretty sure it has like a pretty good charge in it, but we're going to, let's see. That goes in there. We can put the thing in here. Um, and the lights on. Um, let's go ahead and power the thing on. Oh wow, that's pretty fast. Um, now, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this comes with Windows 11 version 22H2, as you can see from the newer booting up logo. I'm definitely gonna run some updates after this. Um, now there is a bypass I can do, which I'm going to do to uh, bypass uh, the network requirement. Because I'm not connecting this to the network right away. Because I don't want to sign in. I mean, yeah, I can bypass the Microsoft account thing, but forget about that. So, this is just a moment. Now we'll be getting a case for this soon, so alright, let's first so I'm gonna show you guys a bypass. If you do shift F10, let me turn on the type covering you being recognized properly. To set up your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more accessibility features, okay. press Windows plus U, and or select the accessibility icon So I guess this comes corner. with 2261.675, which I'm going to update, but I'm going to first do this. So if you do type in oops slash bypass NRO before you even get there, um, it'll reboot. 
and that's how you can actually bypass the it'll actually like if you don't have a network connection or you, you can tell it you don't I don't have an internet connection which is what we're going to do so um, there we go um, so I'm going to just go through the pool and yeah so I should probably put the stuff back in this box well, probably put the box stuff away people lay out don't want a second layout um as you can see we can do that we don't have internet um we're going to continue the limited setup um I of course accept the terms um let's see i'm going to just name a local user because i'm going to upgrade this to windows um windows 11 enterprise but um i'm going to first just I'm, I'm gonna upgrade this to Windows 11 Enterprise. So, going through its normal loop stage thing that I usually does. Hi, we're getting things ready for you. It might take a few minutes. Now, while we wait for this, um, I'm just gonna tell you that, um, where is it? Um, here's my Surface Go, um, first gen um it's got the this has the 128 gigs of storage i also do have a 64 gig variant which is right here which that one is on ltsc 2019 uh, this one is on just regular windows 10 enterprise um 22h2 which this might be dead but i charged it yeah i did um you can just unlock this and as you can see, it's already using quite a bit of, I mean, here's the, uh, if you guys want to see the specs, here's the specs of the Pentium 4, CPU 44 15 y it's a Pentium Gold, but I don't know why it doesn't say Gold. Uh, this has 8 gigs of RAM, and it also has a 120 gig SSD, now it just says, please keep your PC on and plugged in, which we haven't plugged in, as you can see, um, almost there, and... Oh. Now I decided to go with the platinum one to match the um thing, so yeah, wow. This is really nice. Um I think it does come like with office things. Yeah, it comes with office, but that's fine. Um I'm probably gonna end up uninstalling and installing. I think it might actually come with 2021, but I'm gonna reinstall it, so first thing I'm going to do let's first you know what? I'm gonna first rename the tablet. I'm gonna name it, I'm gonna name it Zach Dash Dash SP9. Um, I'll reboot later. Um, I'm gonna first switch to start mode because that will be a lot easier to see. Um, I'm going. Let's just drag this out. Um, I'm going to connect this to the network. Nowadays with Windows, it doesn't yeah, it doesn't have the proper time zone, so let me just fix that. Alright, that's better. Um, let's actually see the install date of when it was installed. It does oh it does have the 1255 use, so I was correct. Um it does have 16 gigs of RAM. Uh Windows 11 home, that's what I thought. It was installed. It was installed, oh wow, it was installed back in, um, in 
Um, oh wow, Wi-Fi 6, cool. Um, that was actually installed back in April, April 22nd. So it's almost a three month old install, dang. Jeez. Wow. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this update guys. And I'll come back later on. Oh yeah, we're missing quite a bit. Yeah, um, how much battery do we even have? Uh, we have 53%, so I'm going, let's actually, actually, I should probably, why is it like, why did I see like, um, why, why does it have, I guess maybe the surface is used that now, I don't know. I don't have my USB Ethernet adapter plugged in. Um, so, um, so, with surfaces, oh, okay, there's no optional, right? I was gonna do the optional updates if there was any, so, but I guess I don't have to, so, I'm gonna let this update, guys, and I'm going to customize the crap out of this, so I'll be back when I do that. Hey, guys, so it's been about a week, um, since I've gotten it, um, let's look at the calendar, so I received it on the 21st, so... I've been using it for about, about, um, so this is what, like, a week and day, three days today. Um, basically, this tab has been working well. I decided to try, um, on a beach, yeah, I tried out, um, Windows 10, um, Enterprise, uh, LTSC, because I did find some drivers online, um, for the Surface. So, and I tried it, it actually worked pretty well. Um, one issue I'm having is that since I disabled connected standby, um, I cannot like put it into sleep, but that's really the only issue. The battery is pretty good. Um, I could get a little, I could get s s quite a bit out of it still. Um, I am on Windows 11, uh, 22621. Um, I'll do a Windver. And show you guys. Um, I actually did the preview update that came out um what last week? Yeah. Um so I did I did that the other day. Um and yeah um which I'm not really liking this update because I had I had um it customized a little bit different but it undid my customizations which I'm not a huge fan of so Hopefully Vibe Tool or Vivi Tool, however you pronounce it, there'll be an update for it soon. If you guys ever, if you guys use that for Windows 11, uh, Build 22 H2. Um, as you guys can see, I do have it on my domain uh, because all my network shares are showing. Um, I got uh, basically 512 gigs of space. Um, I am, I actually have been using it quite a bit, so. I've been I've been kind of filling it up. It's kind of actually replaced my desktop in a way, and my laptop, which is which you guys want to know the models of them. Um, my uh, my desktop is a Dell Inspiron 3670. If you guys are curious, and my laptop is a uh, Dell Inspiron 5570. So basically, I've been using this. I like the type cover a lot. Um, the the pen. You just pull this out. And here's the pen, I can just use that if I want to, which I have been trying to use the pen. Um, I do have quite a bit on here. Some of this, it came with a most, a majority of the, like, the built-in UWPs that came with, I removed. Um, because I did not, I don't want them. So, yeah. I used this tool my friend gave me, so. Yeah, basically that's how I can, that's pretty much... That's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, put a like, get subscribed, turn on the bell so you guys receive new, new notifications and when I upload new videos. What am I saying? How much and subscribe, and I guess turn on the bell so you guys receive new notifications on when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye for now.